shape. So uh, in sculpture, we have choosing no, a subject for a sculpture. So it varies and depends on us what subject matter are we going to paint. So it could be a material or a thing, or an object na meron kayo, in your surroundings, or a chosen one. It could be an individual or person, a place, no, or a somebody no, na meron kayo. So the most important thing no, to consider is the material in making up an artwork beautiful and meaningful shape because if you are not no uh, good in making up that one no or the medium that you use it could not be a meaningful shape because you could not achieve your desire uh, matter or subject matter one so we have stone natural or man-made is bountiful in the Philippines so when pertaining to sculpture so mostly then widely used of medium is stone and we have the natural no an object which is no made or uh, in the environment one so in the aspect of man-made something that deals with you know, with man-made uh, concept so this is made by somebody of an individual or introduced by a machine you no know, or anything you know, to use it you no know, tayo so yung philippines now it is no bountiful so mayaman sigbat ibang uri ng stones so these are mga natural stones the gems, no, this could be no in uh, stones of uh, like marble. So later we will discuss no that these who are uh, have a great no number of resources like in stone in you know, a marble, and we have is natural no in the different places and region in the Philippines have or has a, a natural uh, environmental aspect of a nature one. So next is techniques uses no to come up with a meaningful and beautiful one so what we have is you hunting mga medium so we have different mediums so these are could be no a wood stone uh on gems and ivory no and other materials that can be found and until now which is present no and is full today so we have also you know adding different no uh, techniques or yung type no that we can present making an sculpture like yung relief, the standing, kinetic, and ornamental one. So later we'll discuss further you know, yung, yung examples that we have on that type of sculpture. And also we have yung mga process, no, the making of a sculpture like the subtractive and the additive one. So we have you know, the first slide and to continue with second bullet one, stone, natural, man-made is found in the Philippines. No? All over in the region in the Philippines, uh, has no a natural no and a man-made form of art and of course when it comes to sculpture we do have no some of these na pwede natin makita. so when we say man-made it is an interaction with it no uh, and a person or individual who made of something no by machine or by his hands no tong man na to. so we have stones like gems minerals and rocks no formations in our regions then we have bullet tree. So there are several color of stones. So yes, we have variant of colors in uh, stone. So and this no stones differ likewise in shape. Of course, the same times in shape no it differs also. So we have uh, places that we can be found them no in rivers, streams, in our mountains. Well, specifically when we try to look no other minerals, we will found it no in the mountains usually. And some other you node know, that could be found is in the rivers and the streams, yung mga sapa that we have. So before, meron ngayon, wala na siguro kasi patay na lahat ng sapa. So next, what we'll use in sculpture, no? which is na, has a good characteristic, no? as they describe, that stone no? as the media most commonly used for a sculpture type of art. So stone is uh, one of the typical one that uh, pwede natin magamit. No? So that is marble. So one type of stone is marble, which is has the characteristics of durable, has also a resistance to elements of fire and other hazards. No? So that's why it has been uh, chosen no, or been created as one of the chosen type of meeting. So next is uh, a place where in the provinces we can, we can locate the abundant number of the resources, like in the place of Romblon and Bulacan. 
words. Next is the colors. So, kanina, we have already discussed no, and describing several colors na na meron tayo. So, we have natural colors which come in white, G, greenish, gray, pink, reddish, and brownish one. So, it has a property of its own color and producing no, sa mga surface nila. So, next, what do we have is in the description of stone. So, I am here with the fourth slide. So, in the fourth slide, it is written over here, no? it's that stone is hard. So, as like what I described earlier, the characteristic of an art, uh, of an marble, it's a hard one. No? It's having a resistance and durable, no? Doon sa mga elements of fire and the hazards. So, that uh, type of art na to, it's really, no, a good type of medium, no? To, to last, no? forever yung type of sculpture na meron ka and aside from that when we polish no and we make it no on the finishing touch na on our later part we have a uh a, a creating no on a, a beautiful and smooth no and shiny type of a uh of the features no and even in the colors itself and many more of the uh final result of your sculpture so like what do we have in finishing, finishing touch, no? Uh, we now eliminate and we now doing, no, are the last part of beautifying our, our object. So next is sculpture is uh, made by unskilled hands and generally polish, no, the stones to give them a smooth, shiny, glossy finish. One. So it's like what I give you an example, kanina, you stone, which is marble as one of the good, no, example that will give you no an idea of how is it put no or in the tactile no sense it is no and how is it no looks like and it's shiny or a glossy finish one like what works no done by michael uh Bunarotti, the work of the pieta one so you know, pwede natin example dyan. Action with the recent slide that we have no i have already mentioned on you that the places na in the philippines where have an abundant number of resources in the minerals of stones like your marble which is the Bulacan and Romlon here in other places in the world like in Europe in Greece and Italy they also use no marble for their sculpture subjects so they have also a same no or great number of abundance of the resources of marble so that uh, most of their artworks are made of this and to go with that uh, some of the landmarks some of the uh, architectural sculptural objects no our structure are made of this one so like what i said no from you is your work of the Pieta one so next is the intricate stone sculptures are chiseled by hand or by machine or either by book no combination of these two so uh, everything that been made no before is in uh, a beautiful hands or an artisan one because. so they have a, a gifted no uh, talent na tinatawag which no, they can create no a type of sculpture which is beautiful one and creating no a uh, an emotional feel to everybody or the objects no and while machine is involved no a, a certain no object or a certain uh, uh, thing that you could be used no that could help you to create a sculpture so maybe no uh, right now, the uh, present uh, advanced technology that use in making a type of an art form like sculptures. So, like what we have in cutting. So before we don't have the good cutting styles and techniques, you no, know, in cutting and stones, and we are using or dependently using uh, chisels. And of course, by using of that one, make sure that you are applying an enough force. No, to you to cut away this portion so if too much of effort or too much of uh, uh, force no, so it will result no, to a broken one and you cannot no, uh, back no, this figure or size no, or form into the old one so therefore you make sure no, you, you touch no, the, the stone or the certain object no, that you choose as your medium no, in a perfectly manner and be careful no, on that one. While on the machine, the advantage is you are making of something no, which you are, uh, uh, let's say, no, in advanced way of technique, unlike in your hands. But here, you have some, of course, no, some uh, disadvantages no, at the same time. 
So we have this, no? That's why it could help us no, to further flourish our works no? by this machine no? or by this tool, the hand also. So next is the, the slick slide. So in the sixth slide, from the beginning to the present, sculpture has been largely monumental. So from the beginning no, up to the present now. So it's an evident one that during the ancient, the Greek, the Roman, it is true. That sculpture has been largely monumental, no, and it is used from different no, and varied customs and tradition under certain uh, civilizations that been rise during that time. So today or nowadays, no, even us are using this one. So like the uh, vast monuments, no, like the Bonifacio, uh, Martyrdo, Rizal, like the uh, shrine, no, in Aguinaldo, like but we have more no new location that we have in transfiguration, no? And many more has to work with, no? To mga large monumental. And some of that also are commemorate, no? To our historical site, like in the Douglas MacArthur, so, yung mga pwede natin nakita, and even yung works, no? In the Bataan that March, so in the cross na meron tayo, and other places in the region, no? In the Philippines, that we can uh, see, no? Or we can use as an example of that. So while in the 15th century, monuments now are used, no, are centered on the biblical heroes. So they built in the streets of Italian cities. So then again, no, as I could have mentioned on you, mostly of these large monumental are being erected, no, on the certain place where in historical one. So like in the Bagumbayan before, now it's Luneta, where in Duquesne, no, yung ating uh, Marker Dome, no, in Statue of Rizal. So, like what we have in Una Sigo sa Balintawak, uh, there is an historical site then saying, no, yung ating history of uh, fighting for the revolution, no, against the Spaniards. And also, yung ating shrine na ni Aguinaldo, we also built, no, for them to commemorate, no, as the monuments of their heroic, no, uh, contribution in the history of Philippine, no, uh, freedom so next is the 20th century monument to a songwriter was built in the heart of new york so these are some of the transitions that made to by the people in according not to give to pay tribute you know for uh, who work you no know, hard and who have made you no know, a major contributions in the society so like what do we have other presidents like what we have uh, uh, known people or well-known people in the industry or maybe you no know, art hero one. So we have many you know, that we can say about this one. So we're not only limited in the people you know, that we have nowadays. Even yourself, you can create your own monument if you wanted to. So next, we, I am here with the seven slash, you know, a common piece beside the modern skyscraper. They were in the court of the old places one. So these are the great fountains na pwede natin makita as a symbolic or landmarks na pwede mo visita in the places no, that we have. So sabi na sa inyo, yung mga pwede makita niya, yung mga central parks, like in Imus, in the Imus City, we can see no, the central parks which you know, uh, provide no, yung mga sculptures that you can see on them and other structures that we directed in the part of the historical one of the Imus City. And then some of them no are could be no uh, seen no and look around on your place if you are live on, on that one. So there's are are other types no of arts no, that been uh, shown on that one. So, this, yeah. so like yung mga courts no Tagaytay if you have visited them no yung Katagaytay local trial court nila they have a relief no a relief no is a type of an uh, sculpture also which is presenting no uh, a way of something that uh, raised no on the background on the blood surface one that they attach and then uh, something that is raised no or commonly which is uh, embossed na tinatawag. so that is called no a high relief which is no the figures are extend on the half of their uh, thickness no or the more of the uh, dense, uh, the more of this size you know, itself. So, if you are familiar with the uh, here, no, dito sa me along the road ng National uh, Aguinaldo Highway. 
So, meron dyan cemetery. You can see, no, some uh, type of artwork which is high relief one, no, which we consider as a type of sculpture. No, meron tayo. So, like, yung may Adam dyan, no, yung internal garden dyan na pwede nyo mabisita. So, in other places, no, that we have. Next is yung ating sabihin, yung ito, uh, World War II use of sculpture to pay tribute to their soldiers. It really, no, uh, used for us and still, no mga to because of giving them no uh, a tribute para sa kanilang kapalinihan. So like when I said, from Douglas Mang Arthur, no, and yung ating people in the Balintawak, no, and yung ating mga other examples that we have na. So there's some of the examples na pwede natin makita. So, we have also yung mga other art forms no, in the uh, heroic one like yung late Senator Benigno Aquino, no? Siya po yung senior ni Wayne Jr. na kung saan we can found them, no? Yung ating structural forms of his uh, body, no? Yung kanyang uh, paying tribute on the freedom, giving on giving the back the freedom now and the history, no? It's only on written on the book, but yun nga, I do not agree with that one solely, no? With their commemoration, so every everyone no has own no and stand about of it and uh, history about of it no saying on that uh, particular issue. So hindi natin kasi pwede generalize no. Everyone cannot be pleased about the notion and the thinking no and believing of something. So next rule that uh, how is it no uh, hard to work with and to finish one yung type of sculpture na may. But then again, no, we have different materials and medium that could be used in order for you to create a sculpture. So then again, a person who is involved or engaged in making a sculpture called sculptor. Okay po? An object that produced by sculptors is sculpture. So marble must be moved and cut, no? But this cutting and moving that one, no, are mistakes, are difficult to repair. So therefore, you must be careful in uh, cutting away of the certain parts of the marble because it could not be referred anymore. And then at the same time, it is difficult you not know, to to bring back you know, the old pictures or the old uh, form of this one. So make sure that you are final with your decision and the styles with before you cut it, no? Kasi it is really no hard for you no? to refer again and mistakes, no? Are, should should be no, uh, avoid in making of use of medium of marble. So, next, no? Uh, by the way, I have already mentioned, no? The character of a stone or a marble, no? Type of medium. While yung ating next medium is wood, is a fibrous one, no? Which is the... Uh, a thing that popular also because it has an advantage. So, advantage of this one, yung wood, is cheap, readily available, easy to cut out, no? Yung type of medium. So, then again, it is, no, must be curved and sandpapered, yung ating work of art by, uh, it depends, no, on your styles and techniques and how would you know uh, would be this type of medium or subject matter in creating your sculpture. So it has also a property you know, when it uh, in the final uh, in the final step which is you polishing you know, all the parts of the body of your sculpture, you no, know, it could be result to a smooth you know, or shiny surface and can you no know, uh, produce your own beautiful color one. So we know that the wood has you no know, a properties of color also and you can also add from them you know, if you wanted to add it so like yung mga sculptural works in the bahan or in the church but mostly on the sculptural works are resin based you know, or resin uh, product made so yun yung mga meron so bawal na kasi tayo sa wood so marami ng deforestation the cause of that no could give no a Pwedeng uh, landslide, soil erosion, and many things, no? Na pwede natin maging suffer. And one of the good things, no? And uh, place, no? In the Philippines who are known in the wood carving is the folk, no? Of the uh, Paete, no? And the Pake Laguna. And at the same time, in the Betis Pampanga. So they're really good, no? In wood carving, no? And having a perfect, no? Of uh, the art, 
like yung mga santo na tinatawag. So these are the some of examples of making of art of wood. So like what we have now is the clay. So clay must be founded on kept in a condition day-to-day care. So because clay is a very sensitive type of medium wherein if they expose in too heat or too cold, no, it, it could not be go, go to the natural of uh, uh, properties or form of the clay itself. So you, you must be no uh, kept this no in a condition wherein uh, you can uh, provide the needed no, to protect it and to from the harm no, itself. So it is characterized as very soft and it can remove error. So like what do we have no, mga elementary and high school? We do use no you play as a medium creating sculpture. And even our sculpture days, no young high school is very depending and heavily using of the soul. Because it, it's just like a clay that you that has also a properties no, of a self. Uh, and can you remove quickly you know, the error one as you want to as you wish not to, to create or to uh, polish your work and clay also use no in making of an, a model one so like yung sa metal kasi yung bronze will be used also in creating an art form so will be uh, the process of bronze kasi in the metal will be uh, melt and after that the the meat that you created no as a model your clay will now be used no as to casting and natin to create you know, some features of your desired object matter so the next slide is nine slide right now in the nine slide it is uh discussed here that sculpture may be the oldest of the arts but uh, it could be you know a yes no and sure the answer because uh, as we give you no know, a, disc- a dis- uh, discussion you know, of art, you know, mostly of the type of works that they've been found in the Philippines are sculptures. So like the Gulul, the Manunggul Jar, these are parts of the rituals you no, know, and the traditions and customs that they do in their lives. And even in the prehistoric period, you know, these are also be found or the earth things you know, that we can uh, discuss more mga nakita or they, they found by the archaeologists or the artists that who who uh, cover this type of an art or sculpture. So during the ancient, during the uh, Roman, in the Greek, arts are still no are existing. No? But what kind of evident type of arts are present on that one? So sculpture. So we have the mga Greek, no? Meron tayo, mga gods and goddesses, the Roman, the the sculpture and the architecture one, no? And in the ancient one, we have also yung Abus, Abu Rambel, uh, um, uh, Abus Ibel Ramses one, no? of the ancient, sa, sa ating mga ano, Egyptian time. So, they do believe, no? Yung Paraos nila, the head of Nefertiti one, no? the Kore and the Chorus one. So, these are the things that we need, no? By that time. So, next, I am with the 10th slide. So, in the 10th slide, we have other materials no, of the sources of medium. So we have stone, metal, and you know, discuss nothing kanina as a uh, choice of materials, no, or waste. And then we have, of course, okay. other materials such as wood, I have already discussed, and ivory. And ivory is something that, uh, unlike wooden sculptures, no, and uh, same with wood, no, it has also no a, a properties na petting cannot be less no, forever because could be cracks, no? And we have jade. So in jade, papatak yung ating type of sculpture jan, which is the ornamental, which sculpture are such a piece of jewelry. So these are jewelry that used for personal adornment, no? So it yung mga susutin, like yung mga sinisin, mikaw, bracelet, no, necklace, and many more. So these are usually made from our many contains gemstones or precious no, metals. So we have also bone in using no, in creating on that sculpture before, like in thorn that we have. The glass, the plaster are one of the new materials or other materials that heavily used no, right now. And we have also other metals like aluminum, chromium, steel, plastic, and other chemicals no, that we need. Uh, dependently, we're making use of it. So, 
ang kagandaan na kasi sa mga object na to or medium na to are less expensive like in plastic no kasi this is very you no know, ay a popular you no know, use of medium or materials right now or sa raw materials right now so what do we have on the 11th slide it's this so in the 11th slide for a sculpture some materials are converted to other materials so as in substitute one because of not no uh, present of this uh, particular materials or resources materials na meron tayo because siguro it could be no a, a possible of uh, lacking no of having these materials so like right now they are no shifting no to mga wood carvers before into a plastic to mga taga paete laguna and that is it is because of the resources materials so hindi dapat tumigil yung kanilang pagiging isang skillful artisan because of they do not have right now the medium no that they've been chosen and doing no before and because of this no several deforestation na meron tayo they really really need no to shape and understand no the situation so one of good thing is also yung clay is by far the most frequently used substance as to various uh, types of kinds of rocks na meron tayo been employed to use no na pwede natin no? so like yung mga uh, work of art na ginawang model or medium no as to use to present no and a person or individual one or an object or a thing na meron tayo next is the sculpture again of the 12th slide so in the 12th slide so here are present no at the modern times in front of new materials like what I mentioned earlier, we have aluminum, plastic, fiberglass, stainless steel, and other or many more. So, but uh, we have also to uh, describe yung ating in addition of the ice sculpture. So, this is described as to uh, purposely use no, in the exhibition one. So, but anyway, everything that being created by somebody in the different mediums are also present no, in exhibition or exhibit purpose. No? So, like what do we have sa Metropolitan, like in sa ating mga Coracos, no, or even sa National Museum, everything is being exhibited. No? But this no, is exceptional no, type of an artwork, no? this sculpture, because it needs no, some kind of... Uh, maintenance of the temperature so it is because ice that's why they need no to uh, uh to create no yung coldness na high the highness which is good no resist doon sa ating uh, atmosphere na meron siya kasi humid yung ating bansa so hindi tayo pwede doon at walang uh, tinatawag na winter so next is in the 13th slide so it is now being written over here the 13th slide that then again no bronze as a type of metal na meron tayo is one of the favorite use of the sculpture so it requires to mold no and then uh first and then we will put no into a model in the clay to capture what which specific one we wanted not to show on the object in the bronze so meron na diba section yung may nagme melt so sculpture monuments are ways by which heroes and historical figures are immortalized so yan makikita natin yan no like in the story of the martyrdom of the jose Rizal. and until now it's being you know uh uh see you know the history and it is because also support of the ra1425 law so that's why they, they become no, immortal on our minds no? although they are, uh, he is not existing no really in a tangible one but in making up and sculpture monuments yeah making immortalization so you go with the luneta park and you will um uh, amaze on the pictures you no know, of this sculpture no or martyrdom one that they have you know, stand like stand uh, on that place Bagumbayan or Saluneta Park. So what do we have more on the 14th slide is an example of type of sculpture which is worked by Michelangelo which named Pieta. So right now can you see the presentation the Pieta? Not yet sir. Can you see the presentation the Pieta? The picture? The example? Hindi pa po. Hindi pa sir. Sige, stop sharing and 
present again another window which is uh, the old picture. Yan. So yan, nakita niyo na? Di pa po, sir. Pwede. What's happening? Okay, okay na po. Meron po sir. Ayan, meron na? Yes Ayan. po. So okay. we have sculpture. This is a good example of a uh, stone made by marble one. So this marble one is shiny, smooth, and glossy type of texture or character, which no see evidently on the sculpture made by Michelangelo Bonarotti. So this this name no uh, sculpture is Pieta, it's telling us no the young death of Christ, wherein uh, from the raising of the cross, the been a crucifix, and then he laid down and binaba uh, no hanggang sa dun na. Uh, yung awa ni Maria natin yung awa so yung biblical characters of the center so we know that uh, Michelangelo no, uh, has come from the period no, where in biblical characters are the centered no, type of an art during that time next we have some famous sculptures in the Philippines that I have no uh, prepared here so we have yung unang sigaw sa palintawak that kanina ko pang binabanggit sa inyo that's which that which no, pay tribute for our revolutionary people no or soldiers no that give us no a freedom no, na tinatawag and ito yung Bonifacio no sa malapit sa Manila City Hall no Bonifacio Shrine and yung ating UP Oblation 1 as a pictures of the symbolic no, statue of the University of the Philippines and we have here yung ating Raha in the place of sa atin sa Cebu no that characterized no, the uh, fight for the invader, the Spaniards, no one. So, uh, Magellan. Now we have the um, other sources of the uh, sculptures in the Philippines that made true. It's like here, yung sa Douglas MacArthur works, no, which is a sculpture, provide no, the historical and the I shall return. No? And at the yung mga other veganism works no, of our uh against stores no that what we have and here is a carabao where in shown no other subject matter will be also a part and could be also no used to present an art form so like what the other here no presented so i am here with the third example pictures which is no uh sculpture no made of woods so in high relief no freestanding so the up is a type of freestanding style now, by the way, I will give you not to uh, describe more uh, what uh, other process do we have no in creating upon sculpture. So what do we have is the two major sculpture no process used, which is first no you adding subtractive. So pag sinabing subtractive, alam niyo na yung meaning itself no. It's a uh, a carving of stones and wood no or any that you could be an example of the subtractive process wherein the process is the unwanted parts or material are or is cut away and then yung ating additive naman something with the construction of a figure of by putting together of a sum of bits no of what kind of material is this or by welding together or other parts of metal that you wanted no, to add to your certain parts of the subject matter. So the final result will be produced now by putting together a smaller segments of the material. So it depends on you and how would you made it this portion no, of your style and techniques. So what do we have more is ito nga, I am showing to you no, the picture of the uh, made of forks no, of our Paitenos no, and from Pakil and from Betis Papanga also. So yan Nakikita niyo ba yung example? Yes po. Okay, so these are some of the examples that you could, no, uh, seen from them, no, sa kanilang work. So mostly of their works are being imported, no, because of their highly, uh, and excellent type of work, no, that uh, in the result, no, they impress, no, itong mga tao. No. Like what do we have in the bull old, no, like what they have in the, uh, the dated one, we have the transfiguration and then you adding the women one no? you can search also these following features no in the google and the search scholars one and we have here no 
of my some of the experiences that I have met, you know, as a historical or a part of our traditions or and our customs na meron tayo. Mostly, they work, you know, with the uh, tinatawag natin monumental bus of a structure of a god. So, it is like or similar within, ano, no, uh, in the place of uh, Brazil. Tama po ba, if I'm not mistaken, yung cross ay yung si Christ no na meron tayo sa Redeemer and then also yung places na in other pilgrim like yung sa Quezon sa Batis Aramid yung Manawag no and yung other no uh, places na in the regions in the Luzon which also use this yung character ng mga biblical images and what do we have next is an image credited na no, from the family of Pangilinan which no used tong ating old old century daw na ivory no head ng Christ. So yan yung pwede natin makita when we visit on that one. So next is the features of a sculpture. So now, can you follow that have uh, similar with the painting? So we have also yung line which connotes no a, a different meaning of trying to create no and subject pattern. So pag sinabing line, it's not only limited on line itself lang. So merong horizontal, vertical and diagonal one. So it described no pag snabbing horizontal pertaining to a peace and tranqu- uh, tranquility. And when we say vertical, it is down no uh, up and down way of presenting, but described as forceful and dynamic. When we see diagonal one, it is a vertical no which called no action lines. So we know that one already and I don't give the emphasis more on the explanation because you have already mentioned no, tong mga parts na to that we have in the line. So before, like in the painting. So the color are, then again, same with the painting. The value, the intensity, the property, the name, the brightness, no, and many more. Which also no, in the high and low intensity. So, yan, meron tayong you, the value. So. Next, texture referred to a tactile no sensation that how it could be felt on you no on your hands which no how you uh, uh, feel it so smooth rough rug or fine texture so next is the volume means no solidity or thickness which no are uh, best described as the occupies of space so the volume is the mass and how is it no uh, uh, tried to to weight no, the volume of itself no, of and sculpture made of. So next is perspective. Perspective has a two types. So but before we go on that two types, let us see uh, the perspective one. No, no, no. It is a depth or distance. So it depends on you how you uh, uh, try to look no, and see the, the perspective of such a particular subject matter of an art form no, like sculpture. So like this one, the features of perspective is linear. Because not being linear means our figures become smaller as they receive. Remember the word receive to the distance. So yun yung mangyayari. Lumiliit. Aerial means that a figure becomes fainter or less visible in the distance because on the perspective of this one, no? in the aerial for short. Next is form. When we say form, it is the one uh, when we talk of uh, giving no of way of overall design so like in triangles rectangles or circles so it comes with the shape no of the uh, particular subject matter next is the close form so it shows the element of the piece of artwork contained with frame so yung frame na pwede natin gamitin dyan in the form would be no use of the element within and then this one you open is extend it is no uh, extend no of the outside viewing and to become part of this one your outside portion while your hunting style on the last one is a an individual style and it is there uh, would be an, an, an a great uh, influence from others from a an artist environment or culture and it could be also you know the way of your taste and how you describe something because of your style so it may be a particular one on how you perceive something about of it so the type of sculpture so that will be the end of